YouTube today, I'm going to show you guys how to play your games with no disk. Um, this comes really handy if you're running a laptop and you don't want to eat up your battery. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to GameCopyWorld.com. The link will be in the description. And then once you're there, click any mirror you want. It doesn't really matter. And then this is just telling you the rules and why and why not to do this illegally. Then just hit enter. And then once you're in Game Copy World, a list will pop up all the games they've uh, recently cracked into but what you want to do is go over here to search and then type the name of the game you're looking for now a new tab should open and as soon as it opens it'll have a list and just go through the list until you find what you're looking for and you want to look for something that says no CD or fixed image and then click on it and once it gets done loading, you should have all this, and the trainers that you see down here are actually game hacks that allow you to play the game like uh, some of the, like the trainer, but just click the image that you want that says no, no disc or no CD, and then click that little icon and then this will pop up, and then wait for it to load, it takes a lot while to load sometimes, so just give it some time and then click any mirror you want as long as it's online and then mirror one and save file okay and it should uh, download pretty quickly let me just close it out <clears throat> and then open containing folder if it doesn't download to your desktop then just drag and drop it to your desktop and close that out now what you want to do is you have to extract it to your desktop or extract it to a folder if you're if you're using WinRAR sometimes better to extract it to a folder then open the containing folder and um, it just gives you sometimes it'll have a readme which tells you how to do it but they, you don't really need to read it if you're watching this video just go to my computer after you extract it and then go to Drive C Program Files. Where's Program? Okay, Program Files. And then uh, look for the folder. Let's see, I'm looking for LucasArts folder somewhere in here. LucasArts, okay. And then you want to find your game folder, which would nice with Old Republic 2. And then this, this image right here. Just drag and, or actually copy. If you drag and drop, it'll just paste a shortcut in there. So what you want to do, if you're running Vista, copy and copy, and then go into that folder, paste, and then copy and replace. And now you can close this folder out. Don't hit it. Now the new image that's highlighted, right click, and then send a shortcut to your desktop. And now you have a shortcut to your desktop directly from the folder. You should be able to open the game. Sometimes you need to run as administrator for it to work, but you should be able to open the game like this, and it should start playing. Now the only reason why this looks like this up in the corner is because I am not using Fraps. I uh, don't currently have Fraps yet. I need to buy it, which I will eventually. But yeah, that's how you do that. And once again, this is really great if you're running a laptop and you don't want to waste your battery on a CD spinning all the time. So, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, GameCraft World does say it is illegal to uh, do this if you do not have the actual game. So make sure you have the game or else it is considered illegal. I do have the game. I just don't have a video camera right now to record, you, to record that I do have the game. But, yeah, that's how you do that, everybody. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And I hope this helps. So, thank you for watching once again. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.